fine In a velvet dress with heels And a man stole Luther died Heaven knows I've never put on women's clothes Except for once my mother's cabbage soup Say something. I learned that from the subway. <laughs> and if you drop something, leave it. <laughs> That's what I learned. And if you're lucky enough to sit next to a Spanish one, you can read Spanish at the same time. <laughs> the subway is great, it's like a trip. Side reading, no? Sure. Trade me. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> Can I have a B flat? Oh, don't worry, you'll be flat. says you can have one a day. <laughs> Just the one. Oh. Oh. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I was the happiest boy in the land. Huh? This man I loved was going to marry me and take me away to a land I had only dreamed of. Land of the free and home of the me! The real me! Nobody open any doors! 
<laughs> Ever! We're all staying here tonight! <laughs> Fucking Pedro fucks me again. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> That's all I've said. <sighs> after dessert, I had my Luther over for dinner. And after dessert, he produced a ring, an application for American citizenship, and a wig. He loves me, Mother. He wants to marry me and get me the hell out of here. I put the wig on my head. It's a hideous beige shag. <laughs> Mother, is this plan so crazy it just might work? Mother's face might have been a photograph. It was so still. And then, after what seemed like a lifetime, probably hers, <laughs> she reached out her hand to straighten the wig. Let me my passport and camera, Hunter. I know a certain party. It's a simple cut and paste job. We'll change the photo, and you can use my name, Hedwig Schmidt. Not so simple, ladies. Now, baby, you know I love you, and I'm always thinking of you. But I gotta marry you here at East Berlin, and that means a full physical examination. <laughs> but they'll see right away that, uh, baby, sometimes to walk away, you gotta leave something behind. <laughs> Ain't that right, Mr. Schmidt? I've always thought so with her. Hansel, to be free, one must give up a little part of oneself. <laughs> and I know just the doctor to take it. Don't move! Go! Six 
1488, a tiny registrar's office with a breathtaking view over the wall. Her Hans Schmidt becomes Mrs. Hedwig Robinson. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm leaving on a jet plane. And by the time I get to Phoenix, love will keep us together. Cause I'm just an embryo with a long, long way to go. And I know too much to go back and pretend. <laughs> November 9, 1989, Junction City, Kansas. my mobile home <laughs> and on bootleg cable I watched the wall come down divorced penniless a woman I cry because I will laugh if I don't suddenly I'm his mother I consider calling her name, but then I remember with envy her recent escape to sunny Yugoslavia. <laughs> I did lose all that, sir. No. It's already been a month since he ran off with that bag boy he met on ChristianMingle.com. <laughs> Whatever we call it back then. Church. <laughs> <laughs> he was another one. Never my missing half. I catch myself in the mirror and for the first time clearly see the horror hovering on my head. <laughs> the same carpet remnant Luther produced over a year ago to hide my receding. <coughs> Receiving. I'm receiving. I tear the wig from my scalp and I hurl it across the room into a pile of unopened anniversary presents. And there it lies, feigning shock. My personal hair system. My personal hair. My head.
show you have some talent and also a limit. So I know some of you probably have some BFAs and musical theater out there. So uh, just go ahead and take a look up at the screen up there and follow those bouncing balls, yeah? It's gonna be fun! Fucking asking why you're not coming. <laughs> Watch Hedwig. Watch that show. Let's let's check in with the booth, yeah? Let's <laughs> move. That was a, a fucking good number, yeah? Yeah, so did you feel anything? Yeah. Fuck you! You know what? <laughs> Who cares? Who needs some dead man's approval, yeah? <laughs> well, actually, that was a, a heavy metal gesture. Hey, do you want to see a punk rock gesture? Yeah? <laughs> it's the direction of the aggression that defines it. had to die for you to wear that. <laughs> My Aunt Trudy, I don't know. <laughs> Phyllis Stein thought he would make a great opening act. Billed as the last Jewess in the Balkans. <laughs> lip sync something from Yentl and the little Crystal Knocked. <laughs> he was too good. His applause nearly drowned out my introduction, and I refused to go on. But on my way out, he stopped me and begged me to take him with me. My face might have been my mother's, it was so still. 
<laughs> and I looked at him and I said, Krista, sometimes to walk away, you better leave something behind. I will marry you on the condition that a wig never touch your head again. And he agreed. <laughs> and we've been inseparable ever since. And we'll continue to be, isn't that right, Yitzhak? Inseparable. We are Look, it's an immigration! <laughs> Barbara Streisand, what the? <laughs> Go back to your hole! Gentlemen, I hope you're all becoming fans of AP. Because, um, uh, I found out. Well, hey! This little trailer trash kid put on some of his mom's eyeliner, grabbed his beat up JC Penn guitar, and called himself Tommy Nelson! Tommy, can you hear me? From this milkless tech, you suck the very business we call shit! <laughs> all right. You want to know about Tommy Gnosis? I'll tell you about Tommy Gnosis. Get this damn thing off me. I'm going to be an artist in it. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> my divorce. I scraped by for many years with babysitting gigs and odd jobs. Mostly the jobs we call blow. <laughs> I lost my job at the base PX and I had lost my gag reflex. <laughs> I sat for the baby of General Speck, the commander of the nearby army fort. And his other son was the artist formerly known as my butt boy. <laughs> Tommy Speck. <laughs> Tommy Speck was a was a seventeen year old, four eyed, pock marked, dungeons and dragons obsessed Jesus freak with a fish on his truck. <laughs> and I found him incredibly hot. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it was his disdain for authority, or his struggle with organized religion. One day, I walked in on him, punishing the bishop. <laughs> he was in the back, with the door wide open, clearly waiting for me. So I reached down, and I finished his grace off. <laughs> then I dropped a flyer in the water, and I said, By the way, Tommy, Tonight, I'm doing a short set at Dr. Espresso Seattle Style Coffee Enema Bar. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'd recently returned to my first love, music. I tried singing once back in Berlin. They threw tomatoes. After the show, I had a nice salad. I'm newly motivated. I went out and I got myself a cheap electric piano. I rounded up a couple of Korean sergeant's wives who turned out a mean rhythm section. And we became quite a draw singing the hits of the day under the name The Angry Inch. That night, the audience was small, but hostile. <laughs> Why are you over here on the guitar, huh? Give it up, Quinn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a celebrity with us tonight. Yeah. It's little Tommy Speck, the general son, back by the sweet on love. It's <laughs> more than I got, honey. Oh, he's embarrassed. Well, I'm a little nervous. 
this myself. You see, uh, this song is the first song I have ever written. And it's written for a guy to sing. We're talking to John Mayer's people, but then again, <laughs> aren't we all? <laughs> and know the sun is in your eyes. this guitar to apologize for being a pathetic little dictator. Do you want to come up to my room? We went up to the attic. Tony sang me songs, classics. I was informed. <laughs> but the bands were new to me. Boston. Kansas. <laughs> America. <laughs> I put my hands on his guitar strings. Travel exhausts me. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, Edward? I told Tommy my story. His face might have been a 
Yes, album cover is so stiff. <laughs> <laughs> Have you accepted Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as your personal Savior? <laughs> no, but I love his work. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's trying to save us from was his fucking father. I mean, what kind of God creates Adam in his image and then pulls Eve out of the side of him to keep him company and then tells them both not to eat from the tree of knowledge and it's so micromanaging. <laughs> so was Adam. But Eve, Eve just wanted to know shit. So she took a bite of the apple and then she found out what was good and what was evil and then she gave it to Adam so he would know too because they were in love. And that was good. They now knew. Hedwig, will you give me the apple? The words spilling from those lips, from his eyes. His irises were like clear cylinders of surprising depth and emptiness. <laughs> Only a few puddles of bluish paint sloshed around inside. The same blue as my eyes. At the time, Tommy's performance options were limited to the occasional guitar mass. I initiated a six-month curriculum of rock history, lyrics, grooming, and vocal training. My patented oven technique. <laughs> For his graduation, I gave him his name, Tommy Gnosis. <coughs> the Greek word for knowledge. We collaborated. Songs exploded out of us. He started taking backup from the adulterous persons. Teenage girls started showing up. <laughs> I added a few duets, standing room only. And then, the sizzler called. <laughs> next to the salad bar. And then in a few months, we were out grossing monster trucks in Wichita. With that kind of money coming in, I was able to give up all my jobs and devote myself entirely to our career. We were very happy. One day, I am curled up in my trailer with my usual late afternoon constitutional of grain alcohol in Britain. <laughs> I like to be good about stuff. But Tommy suddenly appears in tears. Oh, honey, what's the matter? My dad, my mom, my parents. <laughs> I hold him as I have never been held. But as usual, he squirms, slides behind me, and clutches my spine to his chest. <laughs> 